after importing your video to CapCut, the next thing you are going to do is to duplicate that video. Scroll to your right, tap on copy. So it's going to duplicate that same video to your right. Scroll back, tap on effect, video effect, scroll to length, scroll down, select blur, tap on it again and increase it to 100%. If you can't find the blur, just search here for blur effect. So you pick the first one. I've done that already, so I'm just going to cancel. So once you have it like this, adjust this blur effect to the end of the first clip, like this. And tap on the second one, the second video to your right, and add it as an overlay by scrolling to your right. Tap on overlay and add this, like this. So tap on that overlay video, scroll to your right, and look for mask. Tap on that max. Select any max you want. I will use this circle because I just want to blur her face. Now tap on invert. So it's going to bring that blur effect to the front. What you're now going to do is to increase the size with the upper arrow and increase the width with this side arrow. Now if you tap on this circle again, it's going to bring out options position how you want the circle to be positioned so i'm just going to tap on this effect this feather and just fade it a little bit so we don't have like a round circle in the middle so at the end of the day you should have something like this another option is to use mosaic so we are going to go back and delete this blur effect now tap on body effect and scroll to your right, tap on max, we have different options for max here, but tap on this face mosaic and add it, the same way adjust it, adjust it to the end of the clip, I forgot to duplicate this, so I'm just going to tap on this, scroll to my right again and copy, now add it as an overlay scroll to the right look for overlay and add it now adjust it the same way tap on the overlay video scroll to your right again look for mask now choose the mask invert color adjust it you can adjust here again the feather you can fade it now the size can increase the size here the width as well you can also reduce it here so once you are done you should have something like this but now there is a problem imagine you have a video of someone in a crowd the person is definitely not going to sit in one place how do you solve that i'm going to add a video clip now so that i will show you how you can solve that imagine that i want to blow this guy this tall guy coming definitely this guy is not going to wait for me or stay in one place for me to blow him or probably want to blow someone in the crowd so all you need to do is to just duplicate it the same it's also the same way but it's just something you need to do scroll to your right copy it now scroll back tap on effects video effect tap on lens scroll down Select blow, tap on it again, increase it to 100% and check. Now adjust the blow effect just the way we've done the first one. Tap on it again, add it as an overlay. Now adjust it to the first clip. What you're not going to do is to tap on this overlay video, scroll to the right, look for mask, tap on mask. Tap on the circle one or tap on any one of them, but I'm going to use this circle one. 
and tap on invert to bring this circle now what you are going to do is to reduce it tap on this arrow top to reduce the height this one you want to be right to reduce the width because the person you are going to blow head is not that big and you don't want to cover the whole screen now what you are going to do is to move this thing right where the guy is here now tap on this keyframe and start adding keyframe as the guy is moving you start adding keyframe move your video a bit make sure you are still selecting that mask now move your video a bit add keyframe move your video add keyframe keep adjusting it like that till keep adding keyframe as the guy is moving or as your object is moving keep adding keyframe once your object is out of the frame so you should have something like this as your results